Hi folks, and today we're going to be looking at this. This is the XP Pen Artist 22E Pro drawing tablet. Now, this one is, I've heard this name around for a while now, and when I say for a while, I've been a digital artist for, let's say, nearer three decades than two, and yeah, I've, I've been using drawing tablets for a lot of that time. And let's face it now, in a lot of that time, you know, Wacom have been a major, major player. I've used most of their drawing tablets in that 30 years. And XP Pen have, their names come up a lot in the past, say, two years or so. Um, a lot of people have already reviewed this over the last year, but I wanted to take a look at this myself. So I reached out to XP Pen, said hello, and yeah, they sent one of these over for me to take a look at. So I thought I'd do an unboxing, do a couple of speed drawings, one of which you can watch right now. Here's one right now coming at you. Let's jump into this, take a look at how capable this is. In its own rights and in its own merits, we can do some comparison videos later. If you drop in the comments, let me know what you'd like to see this up against. Would you like to see this up against the latest Hueyons? Would you like to see this up against the latest Wacoms? You know, but I want to talk about this in its own merits for right now. What is it like on its own? Of course, this is a large drawing tablet. It has over 8,000 levels of pressure, which I was quite blown away by. This isn't a 4K monitor though, this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution, which to be honest it is pretty good. It's, it's great enough to be able to sit there and do pieces like this that I'm showing you right now on. And I was happy with this for the drawing test that I've done so far on over the last week. And yeah, it ticks most of the boxes for me. Has matte screen, I'm happy. So let's go on with this unboxing and review. So firstly here's the box for the Artist 22E Pro and yeah they've done a really decent job this looks like a pro box it's not a brown box or anything like that and firstly I'm really impressed with what we've got. The specs are on the back and it looks really good. It's a 1920 by 1080 and this has over 8,000 levels of pressure. So let's unpack this and get straight in. We've got a mystery box. Everybody knows I love mystery boxes. And the first thing we can see off of the bat is that the tablet comes ready attached with the stand. The stand, as we can see, is the pretty standard UG Logic style stand there. And it's wrapped up in one of these um, pretty standard cling film bags. So let's crack this open and get a look at the tablet here. Yep. So let's stand this up and uh, get a look. Yeah. Hello, me. Wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty geeky, I know. So um, cut to me taking off the plastic wrap and a layer of cling film just to make sure that that screen doesn't get scratched straight into our mystery box and we get a drawing glove yay I don't wear these I wear my fingerless gloves as you already know I'm left-handed so I have to turn that around so the logo is on the inside and that's how you use it if you want to like I say I use these uh, fingerless gloves but the idea is your hand can move around a little more freely We'll put that to the side and your first gift, yes I say gift, is a display port to HDMI adapter there, just in case you're using say a, a Mac or something. The second gift you're going to get is an extra stylus there. We'll move on and have another look at the styluses later so you get two styluses. The second thing we're going to have a look at or the third thing we're going to have a look at is the cable for the power adapter depending on which country you're in and then the power brick itself so the power supply and all the details are on there you can freeze frame that if you want to have a particular look you're also going to get a VGA cable so it might be useful for some of you there if you're still using older devices next up we're going to have a look at a pretty standard USB cable as well that's for the uh, input device 
so you can uh, tell your pen what to do. We're also going to get a pretty standard looking HDMI cable which is a better for obviously the monitor input. Next up we're getting the stylus with the case. Now the case is different from what I've seen in the past but I do like it. The stylus is a very nice shape and it's a bit different. The lid to the case also doubles as your pen pot which I found unusual but quite nice. The other end of the pen pot has eight extra nibs in it. All of the nibs are the same, they're all fairly hard nibs but not too much of a problem and there's also a nib remover in there. You have to get used to these nibs but if you give them a quick scuff with a light bit of sandpaper it does soften them up a bit. That has a soft case with it. You're also going to get two stylus charging cables. They just pop right in the end there. We'll put those to the side and look at the enclosed documents now. And there's actually quite a bit in here. The first thing we're going to have a look at is the little blue cleaning cloth. Absolutely great to get one of those. Next up we have a USB and that has some drivers on. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to download them. Thank you for your support card that has a link to the drivers on. The little USB stick, while I won't use it, actually is a 512 USB stick, so I might use that for other things, of course. You also get a warranty card and a warranty policy document, so uh, make sure you keep hold of those. There's also a, a little document there with uh, Facebook details on and a graphics display manual. So you might want to follow that just to make sure you install the uh, drivers and uh, everything properly. Next up we do setup. There's only three cables that I need to plug in properly. And that's a HDMI, power and a USB. Obviously the power brick as well I need to plug in etc etc. But yeah. Next we move on to the draw test. This is obviously the second draw test. And I'm going to draw one of my famous dragons. I turn on Photoshop and turn on Symmetry. And these are a lot of fun. A lot of clients request these. Now the first thing I'm going to say is you can see me filming this from a very specific angle. Now the angle doesn't manage to show off the particulars of the screen. You know, so you're looking at this and the contrast of the screen, the brightness of the screen doesn't look 100% accurate to how I could see it, obviously. Um, so if it looks a bit kind of too bright, if it looks a bit too flashed out, you know, um, that's just the camera, that's just the filming of it. So don't worry, you know, it, it wasn't that flary, it wasn't that bright. You can actually see it in the filming here that it, it kind of keeps going up and down, it keeps changing. So yeah, don't focus on that too much. It was A-OK. -okay. I'd prefer it if the resolution was a bit higher than 1920 by 1080. But actually once I got into the drawing, that didn't bother me too much. You can see by the actual work that I'm doing, by the first draw test, by this draw test, that I can actually get to grips and do some decent level work. Um, these dragon heads that I do, a lot of clients really love them. A lot of clients really love them. If you go on my website, if you go on my Twitter, you'll see that I just did one of these as a book cover. The client absolutely loved this. Uh, in fact, I just had a major problem with uh, an American, I want to say artist, but he wasn't, um, ripped off one of these. And I might be taking that guy to court very, very soon. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's how much people love these. This was amazingly easy to get to grips with. While the XP Pen 22e Pro is a good tablet, it kind of suffers with a lot, um, well, some uh, the same issues that tablets in the same kind of price range have, which for me is hard pen nibs. I would like a softer, more rubberized pen nib, you know, which I don't think is too much of a difficult ask. 
I would also like uh, potentially a uh, stand with... This It has a lot of movement in it, and I'm absolutely fine. I would like a stand with rotation in it. And I think that all stands from multiple... Um, no matter who, even Wacom had this problem for a long time, and they're only just getting around to sorting this out. You know, um, the hotkeys are great on this, but yep, I think um, while they work fine, I would like to see uh, a wider variation of hotkeys because these are only just standard hotkeys. So maybe some sliders, maybe some dial style hotkeys. That's quite cool, dial style hotkeys. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, more on screen hotkeys. You know, if you know the application Tablet Pro, that's one you can um, download and install yourself. You know, it's not so easy to install, but once you have it, you can have some cool on-screen uh, hotkeys. So maybe check that out. I've got a video on that if you want to go and have a look. All in all, you can do some good artwork on this. I'm very happy with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below or on Twitter or on Facebook. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the illustrations, the draw tests that I'm doing on this? Does this feel like a tablet that you could use? Especially for the price range. I don't mention prices in my reviews. You can click on the links in the description if you want to check out the prices for yourself. Obviously, prices vary uh, quite wildly from you know location to location. I'm going to wrap this draw test up now, but I will post a full length draw test version of this and the other draw test on my channel you know within the next couple of days so you can go and check that out if you're watching this review after i've immediately posted then those draw tests will already be available on my channel so just go and search it right now it's probably already there for you the build quality is pretty good for the budget i think it's okay it's missing maybe a couple of bells and whistles but you only need those if you are a professional digital artist. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to move on to my final thoughts now, but here is the kind of finished draw test. Let me know what you think. So there you have it. That is the XP Pen Artist 22E Pro. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had a, a different name, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, like Excelsior, XP Pen Enterprise. I don't know, you know, if they named them after ships or great boats, um, I don't know. But yeah, rather than just the letters and numbers like everybody seems to use, that are kind of hard to remember. I mean, I get why they do it. It's so you recognise the size, and but yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a tangent, I understand. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's a well-built device. I have no major complaints about this. There are a couple of things I'd say. Firstly, about the nibs. Uh, I'd like to see some softer options in terms of nibs. The hard plastic nibs that the pens come with feel a little hard and that gives me problems when I'm trying to do different levels of uh, stroke variation and obviously you've got 8,000 levels of pressure but when I'm trying to variate my pressure uh, a softer nib might help rather than that really really hard plastic nib uh, obviously companies like Wacom are getting a lot of grief over their latest nibs but they're experimenting at least and I, I can give them you know I can give them real kudos for that um, so yeah, I mean, realistically, I think it's worth a company experimenting, even if they get it wrong now and again, but I'd, I, yeah, I'd like to see more than just a hard plastic nib. The other thing that I would like to mention is I'd really like to see a different stand design. This is the same basic stand that a lot of other tablet companies are using and it's not really 
good enough to see the same stand over and over and over again. Most people probably won't get sick of it, but personally, I've, I'm reviewing a few different tablets at the moment, and that stand keeps appearing. And it's, I wouldn't mind if it was a really, really good stand, but it's not. It's good enough that it does the job. And my wife couldn't understand what I was complaining about. But I have a, a really glossy, shiny desk. And when you move it about, it kind of makes a squeaking, almost farting noise. And, yeah, just annoyed me. But, so... So yeah, I I just personally just seeing the same design over and over again. I just like a company to do its own design. So yeah, sorry guys. I I, I want that. I, I wanna see a design, a different design. It's just me. <laughs> so other than that, not really a problem. I think the tip is a big problem though for the stylus and XP Pen isn't the only one suffering from that. And they're not the only one suffering from the stand either. So yeah, all in all, I think this is a pretty great tablet for the money. You know, if you're looking for a large tablet at a good budget price, this is certainly it. You know, 8,000 levels of pressure is definitely decent. And as hopefully I've proved with the two drawing tests in this video, you can do a decent amount of artwork on this. I got to grips with this very quickly and I was happy with what I could do. I'm sure with further amount of time, yeah, I, I could get very used to this tablet. So let me know what you think and I shall speak to you very, very soon. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to know if you're getting one of these, if you have one of these, what drawing tablet you are currently using, what drawing tablet you are going to be using in the future. If you end up buying one of these from this review even, let me know. Until next time, keep on creating, and I shall see you guys very, very shortly. Have a wonderful day. Keep on creating.